I've already talked about Dream in my first video like this. Go watch it. But Bad I haven't really talked much about. Some basic info about him is that he looks like this and he has no powers, so basically he's the first member of the looks cool but it's useless squad. <laughs> oh, and please consider subscribing. I'll put this here so that we can all see how many subscribers we gain. Dream didn't really have the best childhood. He grew up with his mother, his main caretaker, uh, calling him a monster, a nightmare, instead of what she had named him, which was Dream. Bad also experienced kind of similar things, although he tried to stay more positive about it. They eventually met, and Bad ended up helping Dream get away from that life. They ended up living together. Uh, and Bad tried to live normally, meanwhile Dream kind of hid away and just kept his nose in books and tried to read and learn and he didn't really talk much to anyone other than Bad. Well, Bad didn't really talk to a lot of people either, but Bad actually left the house, meanwhile Dream really didn't. Eventually there came a festival to the town that they lived in and Bad decided that it would be good for Dream to get out a little bit and maybe enjoy himself at this festival. Although that may have not been that good of an idea, since uh, Dream's face was actually seen during the festival, and they generally tried to hide their appearances when they left their house because, well, monsters aren't exactly accepted in this world that they live in. Dream, not really liking being called a monster again, uh, runs away into the forest. Bad later manages to find him, but not right away. He gives Dream a mask, which he found being sold at the festival. Just a smiling mask. <laughs> Smiley mask. He tells Dream that he can sort of hide behind this mask to try and get his confidence back up because Dream, uh, yeah, he really isn't in the best place and he kind of needs it. As soon as Dream puts the mask on, he feels almost like a calm wash over him, and it's as if a puzzle piece has suddenly slotted into place, and he feels strangely whole. Dream starts going outside, getting his own books, because Bad used to get them for him before, uh, just doing his own things, and Bad did understandably proud. And then bounty hunters show up. Yep, it seems that the people of that town didn't really forget that they saw a monster that day. And yeah, Bad and Dream are chased into the forest. They end up getting split up and Dream finds himself on the uh, cliff out into the ocean. He is forced out to the edge of this cliff and uh, the hunters have crossbows pointed at him. He turns around, raises his hands, and just tries to act civil about it. And he is shot three times by crossbow bolts in the chest. He falls into the water with a loud deafening splash and feels strangely warmth. It feels like the comforting grip of life and the sickening pull of death all at the same time. Suddenly, there is a bright sign of light, and he closes his eyes, just trying not to get blinded. And once he opens them again, he finds that his wounds have been healed. He swims to the surface of the water, because he had previously been underneath it. And as he looks around, he sees something out in the deeper waters. There are creatures, humanoid, but certainly not human, rising from the depths. Blue skin, fins, and an almost lifeless look to them. They look like Dream, but only if he was missing the spark of life that he has. He manages to get out of the water, still confused, and Bat appears, panicking, understandably. Although Dream isn't really paying a lot of attention to Bat in the moment, he's just kind of staring out at the ocean, feeling a strange sense of familiarity. He feels like a part of the world has just been made his. He feels powerful, more alive than ever, and a strong, strong pull to the ocean. Dream, after that, suggests getting their own ship and sailing the seas. Kind of like becoming pirates. Have no mercy on those who have wronged them, and have no one rule over them but themselves. And 
bad agrees, having really no reason not to after what's happened to them. They aren't rich, and ships kind of cost money, so that's an issue though. They try and figure this out, and during this time, Dream learns more about his newly awakened powers, and after a bit decides that it's time to test them. He decides to do this by attacking someone else's ship and stealing it, and he manages to actually do this quite easily. He summons a lot of drown to help him, and yeah, he manages to do it. They kill anyone aboard or chase them off, and yeah. They get the ship. <laughs> they try and think of a name for it, and Dream comes up with the Smiling Daymare. It's a reference to his mask and also the thing him and Bad have been called their entire lives, but with a twist. Dream ends up being the captain because, well, he is the most powerful, and it kind of feels like he should be since he was the one who suggested it, and Bad ends up being the quartermaster. Thank you so much for watching. There will most likely be more like this, so as I said in the start of the video, subscribe and then you'll be able to see it. Or uh, find me again, or yeah! <laughs> Bye!